class bonsai exhibit. <laughs> so anybody that I've asked has been more than willing to give us trees. Bruce and Nieko Hisiasu have given us three or four trees. They just brought this beautiful olive over here. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of Bruce and Nieko. It's a twin trunk olive. It's beautiful. Probably a $10,000 tree. It's beautiful. Um, very, very nice. Um, uh, Ted Schwartz has given us several trees lately. He said, you know, told us, given us carte blanche of his collection. Anything we want, just come and get it. Um, Marty Mann has done the same thing. Several people have done the same thing. Uh, Lindsay Sheba uh, sent a tree down from uh, Bike Owen up in, uh, up in L.A. Um, many, many people have been very, very generous. Harry Harrell has got wonderful trees here. Dave Woodall has just donated three beautiful trees, the crab apple down there, and uh, several, several trees, and, we, we, and the maple and another big elm tree and it's really really nice you know they don't they people donate trees to these collections because they will be here forever you know it's not something that'll be a short-term deal these these will be here forever and you know whether i'm here the club's here anybody else is here these trees like abe said will be here for like takanashi used to say immortality <laughs> there we go so <laughs> So anyway, uh, thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. Well, you've heard the theme that it takes a lot of people to do what we did here. And uh, continuing on, you've heard the next person's name mentioned once or twice. Lynn Stevenson. And, uh, she's been the liaison between the clubs and, and the park. And, you know, Lynn is the person who has really cracked the whip and kept us focused on what we needed to get done here. And she's done it with a lot of love. And I really want to welcome her and please give her a big hand. I'll hold it this way, I guess. Um, what's nice about being the last speaker is that I don't have to get off the podium because there's somebody else coming on. No, the other thing is that I, I went through and listened to what everybody said, and I thought, oh, I don't have to say that. They've already said it. I don't have to say that either. They don't ha they've already said that. But there are a few things they missed, <laughs> and I am glad I'm going to be able to pick up those. First of all, John had mentioned um, we want to welcome everybody that's here, but there was a special group that came down from L.A., my old home in the California Bonsai Society and um, the Orange County area, and they came down on a bus with 50 people, and I really appreciate seeing old friends. Thanks so much. The other thing I want to mention um, is that as you all came in today and waited out in front and everything for our grand opening that for our, with our visionary of Mas Takanashi Gate, was that to the right side there is an honor board. Um, the honor board is very, very special. There are two categories on there, two big categories, and they represent to us all the backing that we got for this pavilion. On the left side are all the financial donations, and I must say, everything in here is paid for. We don't have any debts. It's all paid for. Yeah. Having said that, <laughs> we have more plans for the future, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, we, we felt that without the financial donors, we wouldn't have had that happen. The other category that's up on the board, for lack of a, it wasn't lack of a better name, it was looking for the real good name. We call them guardians. They're not just in-kind people. They're, they're companies who have given us very good breaks on work that they've done for us professionally. There are uh, cash donations, not cash that they did, but they're in-kind that they did from their companies. And then there are the individuals who gave blood, sweat, and tears, as was mentioned before, but who stayed with us through this whole project. And um, those people are very, very special. So when you go out or when you're here at the park, take a look at that donor board because that represents probably $400,000 of, of, of good work. And I thank all of you, all of you that are here and all of you that have supported that project. Thanks so much. <laughs> Years ago, when I first came down from L.A., I met Mas Takanashi, and he was a visionary. 
he still is a visionary, but he would walk the other pavilion with us and everything. And when I said something about Carrie Sharp in the park having a vision, uh, I mean, having some plans for the future, I said, we've got to get to it. And so Bark Switzer at that time, Moss, myself, we um, looked at what the possibilities were in this park and realized with all the bonsai interest in the state of California and with a park that had hosted the first pavilion ever in a public area in California, that we had to keep growing. And this, is our, this was our opportunity. So when this all came about over 10 years ago, we grabbed it. And Moss was the one that kept saying, go for it, go for it. So I truly do miss Moss. He was an inspiration. He was my visionary, and I appreciate that so much. Now we want to look forward to the future. Like good wine, everything ages with time. And uh, this garden will too. As you see it today, it's, it's relatively new. Um, and I invite you to come back other times when the water, well, and we'll have the waterfall running again, but come in, come into it as you would into an art gallery, because this is our gallery. This is our bonsai pavilion. And within this gallery, there's contemplation that can go on. There's quiet, there's reflection, there's study. When you see a bonsai, you see a bonsai, it's a tree. It's a beautiful tree. It's been worked on with a lot of good, loving work, talented work and it's framed like a, a painting would be in a museum but it's framed with a beautiful pot so these are beautiful beautiful life living pieces of art and i hope you will come back many times and enjoy that part of of the bonsai pavilion the setting is couldn't be better because it gives you this time to sit down reflect and enjoy and i invite you to do that we plan to do more in the park, uh, in, in the pavilion. We want to put in a tokonoma area. We want to put in the Shoheen bonsai. All this area that you're standing in at some point in time, we'll have some more trees. But the other thing we want to do is one of the things that San Diego Bonsai Club is known for, and that's our education program. We teach and teach and teach, and we share this love that we have for bonsai with school children, scout troops, uh, adults, retirees, everyone who enjoys sitting down and reflecting on a tree. And we hope to be able to do more of that having this facility up here because we'll have the space to sit down and share with everyone uh, this beautiful art of bonsai. So we've got that room now and that will be wonderful. Now the park has also told me that there are a couple of girls in the, on the staff that are looking forward to weddings. And Carrie keeps telling me, oh, this is a great place for a wedding. And I keep saying, oh, is that right? And, it, and when you have that wedding, um, do you charge? And if you charge, who gets the money? <laughs> so Bob, Bob is sitting here, yes. Um, you know, we've had a lot of fun teasing back and forth and everything, but it's a shared, a shared responsibility. The real estate of the parks, we have put in a lot of work into this thing that the park couldn't have afforded to do or wouldn't have, and probably didn't have the talent to do. <laughs> and uh, we've supplied that as well. But it's been a wonderful couple of years. We know that there's more coming on. And don't forget, you know, wine gets better with age and so does the Bonsai Pavilion. Thank you so much for coming, everybody, and enjoy today. Thank you. Okay, we actually have one more speaker, and uh, and that's uh, Carrie Valentine. She's the current she, she's the current president of Sam Fukai. Uh, but before I hand her the microphone, I, I really would like to say a couple things. Uh, you know, not only did it take a lot of people and a lot of effort to put together what you see here. But Carrie did all the planning, the work, the organizing, the behind the scenes effort to have this ceremony that we're having today with uh, all the logistics. I mean, she had help. She didn't do it all herself, but she did an outstanding effort to put this all together. And uh, I think we owe her a great round of applause. Thank you. Um, I told everyone to keep their speeches to five minutes, and I wasn't going to talk, but then I started thinking about it a better. So I wrote it out. It's only two pages, but big print, so I could read it without glasses. But I want to thank everybody first, and it's not going to be like an Oscar speech, because there's so many people to thank 
that we'd be here till next year. But I want to remind you, there's more food over down at Capanga where you were by the other pond. There's food down here to the right outside of the pavilion. And there will be food over here also. Beer, wine, iced tea, lemonade, and water. And, you know, I had food service and a lot of little angels that came through and made all the food and drinks happen. So thank you for that and enjoy it. Um, I'll probably get weepy. I, I can remember the day when we first talked about undertaking this project. And it sounded so big. It is big in here until we all get in here and it's small. The cost was very large. Many members and others didn't believe that we could take this on. Just two clubs. Bless Moss Takanashi's heart. He said, I don't understand. I just don't understand. And in a quiet voice, he told me, and if you knew Moss, you'd understand his next words. Just do it. Just do it. So we did. And I'm so proud, really, really proud of the San Diego Bonsai Club and San Pukai members because as you can see, as you're standing crowded in this pavilion, we are a can-do group of volunteers with a lot of help of very generous benefactors. We are here today. So thank you all. I want to also thank Sam Pukai because they underwrote having the San Diego um, Taiko drummers here for our ambiance. I tried to get a Shinto priest to bless it because being Catholic I always had our houses blessed before we moved in. We couldn't find any. I did try. I haven't given it up yet because you know you start out as a Shinto and pass on as a Buddhist so we didn't want to have a Buddhist in here because we're not passing on. Um, Moss, I know you're here in spirit along with John Naka. This pavilion is here because of their foresight. I want to thank all my great helpers who made this opening happen. A great celebration, a wonderful success, and without them, I could not have done this event. Even when we had hurdles to overcome, last minute changes and additions, and I especially want to thank Steve, my darling daughter, which I can't see right now, oh, sorry. my granddaughter <laughs> and grandson for all the long hours sitting at the computer, redoing, rethinking, remaking, the two o'clock, Steve said, let's go home, let's go to bed. <laughs> and I really thank them. And I truly thank everyone for your support. And I want to thank you for your continued support. Because as Lynn said, I know Steve and Lynn still have a long list of goodies to come. Thank you. Enjoy the day. You know, at the Huntington, we have rain. Here we have sun. Thank you.